David Madden of Equity Capital, who's joining him from London. Thank you so much, David, for taking the time. Uh, the, the print higher than was broadly being anticipated, uh, that is being seen as a negative evidently by the equity markets. But uh, could you zoom out and tell us what the implications of this could be from a monetary policy stance as well? Well, from a monetary policy stance, uh, it really kind of adds weight to the argument that the Federal Reserve should continue down the path of tightening its monetary policy. Only last week, we saw that the Fed take the kind of really drastic measures of hiking interest rates by 50 basis points. And although the update wasn't as hawkish as initially uh, expected, um, there have been, have been, has been chatters and murmurs since that the Federal Reserve might look to, 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 to announce uh, further 50 basis point interest rate hikes in the kind of meetings ahead. It was only yesterday we heard from Loretta, Loretta Mester of the Federal Reserve uh, who, who said that she would actually be in favour of voting for uh, 50 basis point hikes at the next two meetings. So with commentary like that, traders are now looking at every kind of any every important economic report out of the US and thinking, that, and thinking to themselves, are we going to have more and more central bankers edging towards a further couple of interest rate hikes of 50 basis points? Uh, so this is so any kind of number that comes in higher than expected, or in this case, even though it takes slightly lower, in the grand scheme of things, both CPI headline reading and core CPI are both at elevated levels. So if we do not see signs of those changing and actually starting to see sizable pullbacks in the near term, I think traders are always going to be fretting about, oh, we could see uh, a few more 50 basis point hikes from the Federal Reserve in the next few months. And that's what's, what's really driving markets at the moment. And in this case, it's driving stocks lower, in particularly tech stocks, because after all, the tech sector in the US uh, is relatively indebted compared to more traditional sectors, uh, be it say retail or construction. David, the question is how much are we going to see uh, in terms of a downward slide, right? Because uh, quite a lot of this was anticipated. People anticipated that the Fed would move very quickly to normalize. Uh, that was the commentary when Jerome Powell spoke after the last meeting as well. So uh, none of this really is out of the ordinary. But you've seen a sharp fall since that meeting in the Nasdaq. I think the question that everybody is asking, even from our perspective here, is how far will it fall? Well, it's, it's the financial markets typically over overshoot to the upside for things that are positive, like we saw the, the strong performance in tech stocks last year amid the amid the pandemic and the post pandemic boom. It's worth noting, though, that we already were seeing declines in the in um, in, in, in U.S. stock markets from a few from a few months ago. Things were already coming off the ball in anticipation of of, the, of higher interest rates. Uh, you're dead. You're, you're spot on just to say that higher interest rates were expected, but it's to do with how many more 50 basis point hikes is what is what's uh, is what traders are requesting at the moment. In relation to how low can we go? Well, as we can see, um, we've already fallen to kind of a 14, 15 month low on the on the Nasdaq 100. A similar situation. Um, so apologies, it was the lowest level since late 2020 on the Nasdaq 100, about a 14, 15 month low on the S&P 500. In relation to how low can we go? Well, if the financial markets have taught us anything in the last number of years, particularly in the last 10 or 12 years, is that whenever a certain, whenever a certain level of fear grips the markets, in this case, higher interest rates, uh, rationale tends to go out the window and emotions take over. Uh, so I, I don't think we're going to be seeing any declines in uh, US stocks anytime soon. Was being, thank you so much, David, for joining in. It was being pointed out that it, there is significant retail participation.